So as soon as the penalty corner is awarded, I try to do the same thing at the start every time. So then it gets your mind ready for the corner, so it's the same routine. So I get a drink of water first straight straight up. And then we before the game we have just we would have discussed what the opposition do at penalty corners. So we normally have an idea of what we'll do at the first corner and then going on from there. So depending on which what number corner it is or what stage it is through the game, I'll then as the goalie try and take a lead on the how we set up as a defence. So you do video analysis before. So then you know what their main threats are, what their main ideas of how they like to, so if they say have a back to injector you might run a routine where it tries to cut that out and then you try and take a lead to try and make sure that everyone knows their job on that particular corner you can't stop everything it's just trying to play the odds to try and make sure you have the best chance of stopping the thing they're most likely to do if they throw something at you which you've never seen before you've just got to go with go with it and try and do the best you can Start with my left foot slightly behind my right, just give so the number one runner can get as close as possible to me. Sometimes goalie's slightly offset, so if you're slightly offset to the right hand side, it also with your right foot slightly in front, I find it's easier to then remember the routine of how you walk out. And then once the ball is injected, I do one big step, we're followed by possibly a tiny little one depending on how I feel, but normally it's one big step. I'm in my, so I know exactly how far I am off the line, so I know where my post is and that kind of stuff. Because if you do something different every time, your reaction speed, by being one step further out or being half a step further out, your reaction speed is affected so much that it can play havoc with how you see the ball. The difficult thing is some flickers drag it a long way, which means you get a lot less time. They might flick the ball not as quick, but because they drag it from closer with an extra step, it makes it you have less time to react. Every time I face a flick, it's trying to stay as honest as possible. Because if you start to go one way, then they can easily beat you on the other side. So it's just trying to make sure you stay as honest as possible for as long as possible so you can read the flick and try and move your feet towards the ball. I try and dive as little as possible. Uh, if I have to dive, I do dive, but I try and stop that as much as possible. If you dive and you're on the deck, if there's a rebound, there's a lot higher chance of them scoring. Try and use your stick as little as possible. So the stick is an extension of your glove rather than your stick is what you're trying to get the ball with. It's such a better percentage chance of you saving the ball with your glove than with your stick. The, the job of the goalie is to try to stop the flick generally. So if, if you're worried about the deflection, the, the flick will beat you if it's on target. So if, if you start slightly delaying your movement because you think, oh, you might touch it, then that's when the flick beats you. So it's just trying to be, if he does touch it, he's got to try and react but it's trying to stay as honest to the flick as possible, because otherwise it's quite easy for one, an easy, a, a slower ball to slip past you, which the deflector misses. And you, we use a tennis ball against the wall, so close one eye and then throw a tennis ball against the wall and try and catch it with each hand, with one eye closed and then do it with the other eye closed and then do it back with two eyes again. And from before to afterwards, you'll see how much easier it is. So it's just trying to train your eye, and get your eye in, on the ball and if, it's, and if you're close to the wall and you throw it quite hard, it's quite a good reaction speed as well. Fine-tune your senses. <laughs>